Hello from my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 3 of Gimmick Rejuvenation and this episode we have the man that you can see on the screen right now and his name is BK Base. that's right BK Base. and this gimmick was suggested by a, a guy named McLuckle, McLuckle, not sure how you pronounce that name but it's on the screen right now, BAM there it is and he said make a guy from an 80s metal 80s hair metal band so i did so i did and i've made bk bass that's his name and yeah that's the gimmick i was sent and i liked it the most and that's the one i made so here he is bk bass is the guy i've made let's just give him a little spin there yeah there he is so this is him let's let's go a bit more in depth with him though so first off we'll look at the face there's his face. Um, he's got the beard. He's got the beard on like four times, I think. Three times the same beard because it just doesn't come out thick enough, the beard. So I had to layer it over itself. He's got the scar over his eyes. He's got yellowy cat-like contacts in his eyes. And um, yeah, that's him there. That's him there. So that's his face. Um, I have the... Uh, if we uh, go back into that there. A bit zoomed up on his face again. I've got like a... A red, oh, a red, I got a text there, sorry about that. So I got red uh, leopard print bandana over his head, um, of course, you know, as he would, as he would, that that little thing on the back of his head always gets caught up there, like glitches out from time to time when you spin it around, look at it, look at it go, it's weird, oh, but yeah, I've got that on his head, the red bandana, the red uh, leopard print bandana. Um, go a bit further down, I've got his t-shirt which says his name BK Booze. On the back it's got the Prince of Metal, of course, because he's a 80s hair metal guy. That's what he is. And on his arm he's got a tattoo, look at that tattoo, yeah, that's that's on his arm there. And you know, the, the gloves combination here, that's an interesting one. I've never used that combo before, but I think that looks good, the two uh, things there. And then on the other side he's got the... the uh, Ultimate Warrior type armbands and gloves then and then black on one hand white on the other of course And then the pants how oh, can I forget about pants leopard print pants of course all the way around Just like any other <laughs> 80s metal hairband type guy would wear and then the white boots You know not traditional wrestling boots. He's got like cowboy-esque type boots white of course to stand out and uh then his entrance attire, his jacket, of course, metal rock type jacket there. The white leatherness with the studs and the arm. Um, just one arm, of course. And uh, yeah, this is him. This is BK Base. I really like the look of this guy. It's one of the more simplistic cars I've made so far. Um, just, well, even though he's got a few logos and stuff. The patterns themselves aren't complicated patterns, so you know, it's one of the more simplistic guys I've made. Um, but I like him, I really think he's turned out well. And I hope you think he's turned out well as well. But uh, yeah, after, well, I've just showed him off here, so let's get into the match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Jackson, Mississippi, BK Bates! Oh, I am ready for this! So here we are in the match now, we have BK Base taking on Leon Sagittarius from episode 2 of Gimmick Rejuvenation. So uh, yeah, I got a lot of 
a lot of comments again. Just the same as the first episode, and it's unbelievable how many comments and likes you guys get on these videos. It's great. I love it. It's great. Let's see if we can keep it up again. I love getting over 100 likes. Can we do that? If you're going to comment with a gimmick uh, suggestion, please remember to leave a like. It helps me out a lot. But um, yeah, keep those those gimmicks flying in. Um, I'm loving... There is there's quite a lot of original gimmicks that I've never thought of before. And stuff like that. Um, a lot of them... You know, again, could, well, I said last episode, let's try and stay away from the crazy. Some of you guys just didn't bother um, listening to that bit and thought of some crazy ideas, uh, which, you know, I said I'd probably stay away from for a while. But, um, yeah, some of you, some of the guys' suggestions that you've sent in, they're great, they're really good suggestions. And uh, I know that I'll be uh, good for gimmick ideas for a long time in this series, even if, um, even if I don't get... A gimmick that I'm really particularly set on doing in one episode. I'm pretty sure I can go back to a previous episode and check through and there is uh, plenty there. But um, for the most up-to-date comments that I'll be looking at the most for this series, it'll be on this episode. So, you know, get get commenting. Who, what type of gimmick should I have next episode? You know, you've got you've to keep them going strong. Um, so leave a comment. What type of gimmick should I do for next episode? Always looking, always looking. But yeah. Um, I think that this BK base car turned out really, really well, um, considering the the lack of um, like complicated logos on on this guy. I guess because all these logos uh, took me no time at all to get the the tattoo. Um, I, f I went on Google Images and found an image that I liked. It, w it wasn't just a PNG image though, and it was. Um, grouped with a lot of other images so I had to go on Photoshop, cut that out, um, put a little bit of transparency around the edges and import that in. The the leopard print bandana, the red one and the one for his tights, um, they were just both from Google Images, easy enough to get, just typed in leopard print and they came up and I used them. Simple enough for that. The BK base on the front of his t-shirt, um, that was just I went on a website for fonts, found that font, duplicated it three times with the different colors. I got black, white, and yellow in there. Put it over each other, and then that was that for that. And then the must, the Prince of Metal on the back of his T-shirt. That again was just another font that I found and put that on the back of his top. So it's easy enough to make logos for this guy. Um, they're not difficult at all. Very easy logos. Um, pretty much just just text and leopard print <laughs> and a tattoo. The tattoo is the hardest part because I had to cut that out and you know put the transparency around it but even then that was pretty simple stuff. There, there wasn't really any difficult logos to make for this guy. I was thinking about getting a face texture but I didn't feel like this guy really needed one. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting some like metal type face paint on him or something but again I, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I didn't feel like he really needed it. Um, next episode, depending on the gimmick, I might go back to having a face texture, but I don't feel like all creative wrestlers need, um, need face textures to be good because I hardly use them. Actually, Icy La Creme and Leon Sagittarius are the only cars this year that I've actually used face textures on. So, um, you know, you really don't need face textures to have a good car, and I didn't use one on this guy. Um... But yeah, the the combinations of stuff that I've never actually used on this game, I, that really came in handy. Like those boots, I thought I would never use those boots ever, but I decided they kind of fit this guy, so I used them. Um, the Ultimate Warrior armband, again, it was something that I thought, well, I'm never going to use this. This is something that's significant to Ultimate Warrior. How, how am I going to incorporate this in a car? It's just not going to look right. But it does, it looks good on this car because... The, these type of armbands are the type of stuff that the 80s hair metal guys were, were wearing at the time. Just look at people like Def Leppard and stuff. <laughs> They're all like that. They're all like that. And um, yeah, it's it's different. You know, I didn't I didn't want to copy some guy from an 80s metal hair band completely. You know, I, I could have went all out and copied it exactly as the same as anyone else from that time. I decided to make him different, you know, his hair isn't as outrageous as some of the people from that time. Um, 
it's a more modern-ish type feel to that uh, that trend of the time. Um, you know, so it's is is different. You know, it's not kind of expected yet. At the same time, he would totally fit in from that time period and. Uh, his, his moveset, of course, I've made him a smaller guy, he is 5 foot 10 or 11. Well, I say that's small, but that's like average height, I think. Uh, I personally am 6 foot 3, so that's kind of small compared to me, but you know, he's he's a smaller guy, for a wrestler at least. Um, so he's got an athletic moveset. There's a moonsault, oh my god, look at that, he's just a signature moonsault, split leg moonsault from, the, from jumping out of the ropes there. Good move, and he's signaling for maybe the end of the match. Oh, he's shaking. Oh, he's wiggling. Oh, he's got his hand up. He's ready. He's running at him. And, oh, look at it. Spinning around, up and down. He doesn't know where he's at. He takes out Leon Sagittarius completely. And he's going to go for that pin. And he's going to get the 3 1 2 3. Just like that. Leon Sagittarius is out. And BK Boost picks up the win. Just like that. Out of nowhere, but look at that. He, he, Leon did kick out of the dive and headbutt earlier on in the match. That could have been it. Um, but of course, he kicks out to just one, two, and three. Oh, the ref. That could have been a three, but no. Leon trying to get back in with the clothesline, but it wasn't enough to keep BK Beast down. And um, yeah, he just he's resilient. So resilient, super resilient. He'll just keep on uh, getting out of everything that you throw at him. And then, of course, even when Leon tried to uh, DDT him on the apron, a vicious DDT. You ready for it? You ready for it? Boom! Oh my god, head first under the very edge of the apron. But that didn't keep him down. He came back and took him out with his finish, went for the pin, got the three count, and picked up the win. So that's going to be it for this episode. As I said earlier on, if you've got a gimmick suggestion, leave it down in the comments below. If you see one that you like, remember to thumb it up so it's easier for me to see. Leave a like if you're gonna um, if you're gonna post a comment. Oh, if you just enjoyed this video, please leave a like, rate, and it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you aren't already to check out all the videos that will ever be uploaded on this channel. All you need to do, click that subscribe button. But other than that, that's gonna be it. So I will see you next time.